Hello, I'm Stu, a technical sales engineer here at Symmetrix, and I'm here to show you one of the great new features that we've added to our control server in Composer 7.3, the web-based event scheduler. The web-based event scheduler allows for scheduling of presets by time and day, providing a way to automate routing, source selection, and volume changes to account for special events, holidays, or other automated predetermined configurations. In order to schedule an event, you must first store some presets in Composer software. After you have one or more presets created, you can access the web-based event scheduler through the control server. The web-based event scheduler app will need to be a licensed configuration. The process of licensing the web-based event scheduler is the same as SimView and the Mixer app for control server. This is done in the control server's administration settings. From the menu, Management, Applications. Click on Event Scheduler and drag Available Configuration to License Configuration. Next, the web-based Event Schedule app will need to be selected as a user-allowed configuration for all users who will need access to it. The process of making the web-based Event Scheduler a user-allowed configuration is the same as SimView and the Mixer app for Control Server. This is done in the Control Server's administration settings from the menu, Management, users. Once licensed and user allowed, the web-based event scheduler should then show up as an option in the user's dashboard once they log on. The event scheduler automatically opens to the current day's date in the month view. From this main window, you have many ways to navigate and view the calendar of events as well as set the unit's internal clock which drives the automatic recall of events. To ensure your schedule events trigger at their intended times, you must first set the unit's time and date. To set the unit's time, click Menu, then select Set Unit Clock. This will bring up the Set Unit Clock dialog. From here, the unit's time and date can be set. There is also an option to automatically sync the unit's time and date to your PC. You can toggle between day, week, and month views using their respective buttons along the top left of the calendar. You can scroll through the calendar using the Today button and the left and right arrows at the top right of the calendar itself under the View menu. To quickly narrow the focus of your view, you can click directly on the top portion of the window of any single day to show you only that day. To add an event, click Menu, then New Event. You may also create an event by simply clicking on the desired day in the calendar. Both options will bring up the Add Event dialog. Once open, the Add Event dialog allows each event to have an event name. This should be both unique and descriptive for easy recognizability. Once done, designate the preset this event will recall. You can also give the event a label to help categorize it and even distinguish types with colors on the calendar. Category names may be customized by clicking on the menu button and selecting Edit Labels. Next, enter the time the event will recall. Finally, choose a recurrence type. Events may be single occurrence or follow a recurring pattern. The single event option will set up an event as a single unique occurrence. The only option to set for a single event is the time and date on which it occurs. Each time and date field has a drop-down menu. A recurring event will allow you to designate the days of the week on which you want the event to occur. The user can select the seven weekday names to schedule the recurring event. You also have the option to create a whitelist or a blacklist. To add dates to the blacklist or whitelist, click the Add Remove button. It will show the event scheduler's month view. Click to select the dates to whitelist or blacklist. When finished, click the blinking red Done button at the top right corner to save your list. The Notes button brings you to a plain text field where notes may be stored for the event to help with organization or any information the user sees fit. This can be recalled at any time. To edit an existing event, click on the desired event in the calendar. This will bring up the Edit Event dialog. To delete an event, 
select the event in the calendar and click the delete button. This will bring up a warning dialog. Click yes and the event will disappear from the calendar. And that's all there is to it. For more information about Symmetrics or any of our great products, head on over to our website at www.symmetrics.co or give us a call at 425-778-7728 and let us know how we can help. Thank you very much.